All right. Good, 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 good morning, neighbors. So living out here in Asia, there are days when I just crave a burger or a sandwich. You know, I gotta have that fix. And uh, this morning, I've been craving a breakfast sandwich. You know, something cheesy, something uh, oozy. So I went looking on the web and I found a sandwich from a restaurant called Egg Slut. <laughs> yeah, pretty right in your face type name. Definitely from LA. But their breakfast egg sandwich just looked amazing. And I'm gonna try making it here. And if I can do it here, then you can surely do it at home as well. All right, this is the first key ingredient, onion. We're gonna make caramelized onions. Caramelized onions take a long time, at least half an hour. So uh, don't try to do this in the morning. We're gonna cut this in half, all right? And then we're gonna cut from pole to pole, okay? So as I was saying, this part takes some time. So if you like this sandwich, make these caramelized onions, uh, maybe a jar full uh, ahead of time. All right, next we'll put this on a medium heat. Put enough olive oil to coat the bottom of the pan. Once it's hot, we can add in our onions teaspoon of salt and then with your chopsticks you can spread out some of the clumped up pieces and then leave them alone until they brown on one side right, and after three minutes flip them over yes getting a nice browning like that we'll let them get another crisp on the other side as well all right guys and once they get crisp on the other side let's reduce this down to a low heat now and we'll let them cook in their own juices and just start to brown up. I would say give it another 15 minutes on low heat, just stir occasionally. All right, that looks good to me, guys. And my caramelized onions are ready. Yes. The restaurant there uses a brioche bun. It's nice and sexy. It's kind of like a hamburger bun. If you got that, use that. I walked over to my <laughs> local baker uh, here in Seoul and I asked, excuse me, do you have a brioche bun? Uh, and the baker was like, biro bo? So I walked out with the next best thing, which was a ciabatta. So I think this should do well. Some stuff are very hard to find. Artisanal bread and cheeses are very hard to find in Seoul. Let it chill. All right, bun should be ready. Beautiful, all right. And then we're gonna make a sriracha mayo. For this, the measurements, two tablespoons of mayonnaise. Oh yeah, another tablespoon, two tablespoons in total. And then some sriracha. And yes, I agree, everything is cuter in Asia. Put the baby bottle down and mix it in. Yes, 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 yes. Our buns, yes. All right, let's make both sides get some love. All right, so the next part is key. In a cold pan, we don't want to turn on the heat yet. We're gonna crack in three eggs and then a tablespoon of cold butter. Let's put that in here. And the reason we want this cold is to basically cook these eggs slowly. Let's give this a mix so that the eggs and whites become one, you know, basic scrambled egg and we're gonna season this at the end too not yet so now the egg whites and yolks are one then let's put this on a medium high heat all right and we're gonna start to stir and they said to treat this like a risotto so keep stirring we want smooth creamy eggs yes then we'll take it off the heat all right I think this is about done that looks good to me right around here in some chives, touch of salt, season it. All right guys, then let's put these soft eggs. And in the video, they used a slice of sharp cheddar cheese. As you can tell, this is Americano. I'm just using American because that's what I got in my fridge. Just put it in a frying pan so it can melt a little bit and then you know what it is. All right, and now I see why they were using sharp cheddar cheese. This American one is too weak, <laughs> but nonetheless, cheese is cheese. Let's put this uh, caramelized onions over the top. Yes. All right, let's close this up and then cut this in half. No, it's oozing out. Everything is oozing out, guys. Nonetheless, here it is. Mmm, wow. Guys, I think this is a fail on like how it looks, but in terms of taste, that like combination. All right, let me take another bite. Here's what it looks like. Oh man. Guys, I don't think I'm doing this sandwich any justice. Go look at it in its proper form. If you have a brioche bun, put it on that. It just looks way more sexier. But the taste is on point. That mix of caramelized onions with soft scrambled eggs and the chipotle mayo, that's a winner. I love this combination. Mix it up, guys, with whatever you like. You can throw a few pieces of bacon in there as well. 
but cheers to a better breakfast and y'all tag me on Instagram. Show me what's up. Y'all tell me how to do this thing properly. <laughs> See you guys. Let's get wild.